Good morning, boys and girls. Santa Claus, this is Claus, and Snowflake. Just want to let you know the elves are packing up your toys to get ready to bring you to the hospital. So when you wake up Christmas morning, there'll be all kinds of goodies waiting by your bed. But in the meantime, we'd like to read you a little story. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas will soon be there. The children were all nestled and snug in their beds, with visions of sugar plums dancing in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and me in my cap, just settled down for a long winter's nap. <laughs> when out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what's the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of a new fallen snow gave luster of midday of objects below. But to my wondering eye should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles as coarse as they came, and whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cubert, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the course they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and a turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in his fur from his head to his foot, and all of his clothes were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys as he flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to all and to all a good night. night.